Hello summoners and summonettes, it's Gordon here and today I'm bringing you a Varus ADC video. So as always, picking up the Doran's Blade Health Potion as well as Warning Totem. And what am I saying? Hi, I'm Gordon. Look, have fun. And this is actually my second time actually ever playing Varus. If you didn't catch it, I was actually uh, duo queuing with Aaron in one of his latest videos. So you could go ahead and check that out if you want to see a pretty funny game. I enjoyed it. But uh, like I had said before, this is my second game. So hopefully we can get some good action again. And I think he's fun, actually. I think he's a sleeper AD, really, from what I've noticed. He has a ton of scaling AD on his piercing arrow, from what I've seen. And before I go ahead and get into the commentary, just a side note. Uh, I've actually always had a link in the info box below for the availability of referral links to make maybe smurfs or refer a friend if you want to get them into that. And basically, what that helps me achieve actually is for every referral that I get, I get a little bit of IP and I actually still need to buy like 30 champions. So a lot of you guys are requesting champions that I don't actually own. So if you want to help me out and potentially get some of those champions that I don't own so I can make videos on them, if I buy a new champion that I've never played, I'll make a video of it that day pretty much. So if you want to help me out, definitely uh, go ahead and use that referral link if you've ever thought about making a smurf or if you have any friends who might be interested in playing. It would help me out a lot. And also, eventually, if I do get to that 50 referrals cap, I do get Medieval Twitch and then I'll make a Twitch video as well for that. So. It'd be awesome if you guys could do that for me, just to help me out a little bit, but again, completely optional. And back to the commentary, gonna go ahead and help him out with the blue buff here, and I have a Thresh, and we are against a Jinx, and ooh, Velka support, okay. I would've thought it would actually have been a uh, Kale support, but I totally forgot about Velka's being a viable support, so... Definitely going to have to watch out for him here. He's actually pretty squishy, however. Doesn't have too much armor on him. So we'll see if I can burst him down with the Thresh lockdown here as well. Velkaz really does not like getting locked down here. So hopefully we can do some good damage to him. But again, he'll have some good uh, DPS output as well, chunking down the Thresh here. So hopefully we can hit level 2. Once we do hit level 2, I think we are very, very strong combo here with both the lockdown from Thresh as well as some of my burst here. Getting level 2 and actually gonna take my Blight here because I want the applied uh, amplified damage on it that scales with my other skills as well. Thresh actually getting locked down here pretty nicely here from Velkaz as well. Gonna go ahead and get a few autos off on him or try and get a few autos off. Thresh actually has to back already which is very unfortunate for me. He got a Gotta watch out with Velkaz, you gotta kind of line of sight yourself with the minions here and dodge out on his abilities, because if you get hit by one slow, you're going to get hit by the other slow from Zap as well, so pretty dirty combo there, sending my Thresh back, unfortunately, which will probably hinder my lane a little bit here. Gonna go ahead and dodge out on that Velkaz Q, shoot out my Q, ah, oh, I wanted that caster minion. Oh well, won't be able to pick that up, but I'm just CSing safely close to my tower here, hopefully I can get all of them here. Dodging out on that Velkaz Q as well. It's like testing my limits, man. Gotta dodge out on all the skill shots here. Gonna go ahead and charge up my piercing arrow. Last hit that minion with it as well. Definitely wanted to get that amplified damage to secure the uh, siege minion, actually. So 18 to 18. The fact that I'm tied and my support already had to back is very awesome for me here. Not sure why we actually pink warded our blue this early into the game. There's. I wouldn't expect to see an invade on that blue already, but better safe than sorry, I guess. Don't face check! Man, you're only level 2, friend. We gotta be careful. So yeah, we're definitely behind in lane here. Can we get a ward in there? We need the ward. We need... There you go. Excellent. So now that we have sight of Velkaz, we're pretty much safe. If you can dodge out on one ability, it pretty much nullifies the rest of his abilities hitting, in a sense. So gonna go ahead and queue the wave and jinx as well that's pretty much the perfect queue you can hope for where you shove the wave as well as getting harassed down on the enemy champion so good job by me there and for now we'll just focus on last hitting trying to keep up with jinx she is pulling ahead of me a little bit but it is because the wave is actually shoved and i still have a few creep to last hit for myself here so i'm gonna go ahead and wait and actually queue both those minions and hit jinx as well so 
I'm gonna go for a Q max because it's one of those things where if you can hit it, it's definitely nice to max it, but if you don't miss it, it's kind of like putting all your eggs in one basket, unfortunately. But I think I I believe in my skill shot abilities here, so awesome job. GP picking up first blood onto the Irelia in the top lane. Hecarim getting pulled in from the lantern here. Gonna go and throw my piercing arrow down, hit the Jinx here, forcing flash out with the death sentence. Very nice job out of the team here. We should just back off and excellent flame chompers by the jinx there actually it locked down two of us i saw it so i just backed off but the fact that it locked down both the hecarim as well as the thresh was pretty big for her there so awesome skull shot out of her and gonna go ahead and just lust it get out of the lane you're wasting so much time just leave <laughs> we're already chunked we can't do anything definitely like i mean we got the flash and that's good so you just take what you can get you know and then just go on about your day it was a good gank successful gank because we got the flash so then you can go farm for a little bit and then come back and pick up a kill but you don't need to stick around for as long as the hecarim did there because he was in vision of everyone so it was a little awkward i guess we could say so unfortunately thresh taking a bit of damage eh, possibly could have death sentenced earlier but the Velkaz is actually completely out of mana here, so that's pretty big for us. Definitely look to make advantage of that here, hopefully for us. Gonna go ahead and charge up my Q, shoot it at the Siege Wave, guarantee... Oh, I accidentally ruined that CS, maybe? Okay, I got it in the end, luckily enough. Oh, take that CS, baby. I, if I'm not gonna get it, you better get it, you know what I mean? I messed up almost all of these CS now, actually. That was unfortunate. But 43 to 44, so I'm still doing fairly well for us pretty much getting shoved in 24-7 and not being able to do anything with it. So Vilkaz is, ooh, we could maybe make a play. I would say when they come up to the tower, we could definitely make a play, hopefully here. And we need to just wait for them to get too aggressive here. And going to go ahead and dodge out on his rift here. And unfortunately, Thresh eats a zap. Q in that wave, hitting the Jinx as well here. I'm gonna go ahead and go back. Bot shoves 24-7. Is my name actually random? Let's see, no, it's not. But yeah, this is a uh, a little unfortunate. The fact that we can't. Ooh, I got snared. That's kind of troublesome. I do have to flash out of here actually. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw the Q in. Maybe pick up. Oh, GP. Oh, we got one. Very nice. That was awesome. The piercing arrow there out of me hit both of them. A fully charged era as well, able to just absolutely blow them up there with some damage as well. Fantastic GPL really helped us out here. And luckily enough, I did survive from the combo of Velkaz as well. Double kill coming out for our Velkaz. Excellent job there. Gonna go ahead and just shove the wave here and try and back off. And hopefully we can get away safely here. A little risky, biting off maybe a little more than we can chew, but... I do know their jungler actually did just die, so we do have a little time to shove out here and hopefully be safe here. Awesome job from the Thresh using the flag, getting as much damage onto the wave as possible. And now he's just leaving the minions for me to last hit. Awesome job from the Thresh there. Good job, team. Just chef. So I have 2k. Yep, she got the BF, which was to be expected. I can't back here, actually. I uh, hope you get out. Okay, you did get out, luckily. I'll just go ahead and back out the tower. No big deal to me. Definitely didn't want to get caught out there. Just take the safer route and back at your own tower there instead of getting caught. And now I will go ahead and back and pick up not only the BF, but boots as well as some health potions and a ward as well. I want to help out with some vision control. Definitely want to try and deny Lee Sin some potential ganks here. But the downside for me backing and Thresh actually taking quite a while in the shop is... Jinx is ridiculous at taking towers, and they have one way built up, and we lose the whole tower because of that. Jinx OP. But a 5-0 is the current team score. 001 is my score, so team is doing a fantastic job here. And now that they actually took this tower, I'm going to try and freeze the wave a little bit. Back, 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 back. So I want to freeze the wave because they don't really have an objective to take now, and I want to force them to come to me. So I'm just going to last hit the minions here and make them come up to get the CS and try and deny them as much XP and gold as possible. But the return to this is they could do dragon, so go ward that. And if they do do dragon, we need to just shove really hard right away and try and contest it. 
They're probably already doing it, unless uh, bot lane just backed, but I'm assuming they're doing it. Yep, so they got it. Oh, we actually stopped them, nice. So that's all we had to do, just show up, show presence, and we forced them off the dragon here. So now I have this big old wave, and I'm losing nothing for freezing it here, which is fantastic at this point for me. Definitely not good for the enemy team. No, 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 I'm freezing, friend. So just last hitting all the creep here, to the best of my ability here. Again, this is the power of the freeze. If you can lose nothing for it, it is like the best thing you could potentially do. A good freeze literally renders the enemy bot lane useless. So they're probably going to have to run, which they are trying to do so. Vilkaz is in the mid lane here. But Jinx is nowhere to be seen on the map, which is very nice for us here. So I'm just last hit in. And I could tell the Thresh to go help out if he wants. Because unfortunately, Jinx just picking up a kill there, but we do get a return kill onto the enemy Velkaz. Double kill for Jinx, however. That's a little unfortunate. Four man gank, I hate you guys yet. So now that they do have this big group set up in the mid lane, I do have to shove out my lane here. So a little unfortunate, but um, it could have been prevented probably. But I just don't think they knew how to play the freeze, right? So we're going to lose a mid tower because of it. But now I kind of have. A, I'm gonna have a big wave built up in the end here, so it should be good for me Maybe to try and potentially get a return tower here But unfortunately my team did just give up two kills and a tower But they didn't get dragon yet, so that's a plus But there's there's the enemy team responding well making a four-man rotation to the top lane here So just gonna definitely shove out this wave really fast here and maxing my e-second trying to get some good damage onto me here GP did fall, and we probably will lose another tower, so a little unfortunate. Enemy team making very nice rotations with Jinx here. And for now, we will just try and answer with our own tower in the bot lane here. Do have a nice wave built up. Vilkaz is coming down. I'm going to try and blow him up here, actually, if he does try to stop this tower here. We should easily tower dive him. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my Q down onto Velkaz here. I actually get zapped. That was a great combo out of the Velkaz here. I'm going to go ahead and throw down my ultimate and hopefully pick him up. Nope. Fesh. Oh, we got him. So that's actually not bad. I'll take a one for one considering I have tower pressure still available to me. So I'm going to go ahead and get the tower. We get a one for one. Unfortunately, I didn't get the kill, but very nicely played out of that Velkaz here. I could have flashed that or just sidestepped that. So now <laughs> this becomes an awkward moment where you got nothing where you thought you were going to get. And that was pretty bad for us here. So we're down three towers and luckily not a dragon yet, but we're still up in kills and farm. So the gold is probably a little bit in favor for the enemy team here, but hopefully we can have a good team fight at dragon or another spot on the map and increase our lead here. Or get the lead back, because they probably are a little bit ahead of me. But because I froze so hard, I, you're seeing a huge lead in CS for me. But Jinx, she did get those three kills from roaming, so that's pretty big for her here. And she has double buffs as well. So I want to try and maybe get that from her here. Nope, oh, they actually just wore out. And Lee Sin coming, maybe trying to make a play. We have five people here. We should actually make a play on a dragon here. Hopefully we can catch out on Lee Sin here, and maybe I can get the snipe down with GP ult. Okay, so he got chunked, so this is a free dragon for us, however. So hopefully we can take this really quick, and then we can rotate back up to top and not lose anything for it here. I'm going to drop my ward over the wall here, just so we have vision of him here. I'm going to go ahead and try and snipe down the Velkaz here. And I ate the Jinx rocket to the face, pretty much, but I didn't really care, because I just wanted to deny them any chance at a steal on dragon here. And hopefully the team can just back off really fast here so we don't lose too much of top tower. We should be back, gang. We should be back, gang. Alright, so we got dragon and we might exchange it with a top T2 tower. So probably in favor for the enemy team here, unfortunately here. And our Velkaz picking up a kill but probably going to die. Probably not worth it because he did just kill a support only there. So a little, little greedy from him I would say probably here. Just gonna go ahead and continue to shove out this wave. Try and get bot tower really quick because there are two people here. Go help mid friend. I don't need you here. I'm just gonna last hit this tower really quick and then hopefully just back out. So for now, 
just shoving really hard here. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the tower here in just a bit here. Jinx is rotating down and too late the tower is gone from me here. So that's good for us. Maybe we can pick up a kill onto her as well. Very close hook from the thresh there but in the end not picking it up. I'm gonna go ahead and back and pick up my BT now. I really want that on me and big power spike for me once I get the stacks on the BT here. So for now going to go ahead and pick up the dagger actually. I think attack speed is a little bit better for the Varus instead of crit because he is mainly an AD caster actually and getting the blight stacks on him is huge so I'm actually going to go ahead and get that ward because we do have that pink ward that he placed so early. Smart. This guy's thinking 20 minutes ahead man even though it's only 16 minutes in the game but still very very I don't even know man he's just he's a genius. He took it he put down the pink ward and now we get a blue buff secured for it. Jinx trying to steal out on the blue here. Yo, get your blue bell cuts. I'm like leeching the blue for him and he's just sitting there. So gonna go ahead and life steal back up off this wraith here. Or white camp rather. It is a wraith I guess, so I didn't misspeak in a sense, but just hitting it up, getting some life steal, but it's actually doing more damage to me. Leveling up here to level 10, gonna go ahead and try and shove out the wave here. Did see pretty much their whole team in our jungle, so I need to be a little careful. And for now, we'll just last hit, and I sense a team fight coming. Our Velkaz is backing though, so uh, he actually gets caught out by the Aureli here. He will go down in the end too. A little bit unfortunate. Oh, we could have gone in. Greedy backs out of the team here, and just greedy positioning in general. Uh, really giving them some free kills here which is unfortunate for us. So hopefully they don't take any objectives out of it for having a man advantage on us here. Just trying to shove the wave, keep everything pushed in, and I am gonna have to rotate mid here because they are trying to send two, maybe three people to this mid T2 tower here. And we can actually fight this if we get the numbers, but they will end up backing off of it in the end. So no harm, no foul to us here. Jinx has red buff. Our red hopefully is up. I'm gonna try and take it here. Actually gets warded out by Lee Sin. And I think he may know it's up, so I'm gonna pull red all the way. Yep, it is warded. And hopefully we just leash him off of it so I can just secure this red. Support battle in the bot lane actually with Thresh as well as the Velkaz. We did pick up the kill on Lee Sin. Very nicely done out of the team here. Might be a little too far forward actually, so hopefully we can rotate over. There's the alt that I expected to see. Hoped it wouldn't hit anyone, however. Send it in my Q. Oh, that's not good. I need to flash out of this or I'm dead. Gonna have to go ahead and alt and get the lockdown on. I really pop an E. Fantastic. All out of the kale, however. We don't respect Jinx alt. And it is shitting on us. So Jinx getting a lot of good kills with her ultimate here. We always expect to have the numbers, but you have to expect the Jinx to be able to hit him. Super Mega Death Rocket. A lot of damage coming in. Getting them resets as well with Jinx there. So just got to respect what you're against. And the Velkaz has been split pushing this whole time. He's got 42 CS on him here. So that's pretty crazy. 152 CS on me. 022 is the score, unfortunately. Why is he getting caught out so much? I don't understand. I'll just go top. Can't be in. And then left. I don't understand. Oh, apparently he got hit by a... Q that he wasn't expecting. Excuses law. So we need this warded. We don't have it warded. And I know I'm walking over a ward actually. So a little afraid for my life here. Baron's probably gone, honestly. Oh, it's not. I'm surprised they didn't take that. We had our jungler bot. And they have Jinx who just is crazy good at Baron. So very surprised we did not get that. Gonna go ahead and Q that minion. Don't want to miss out on it. And getting some stacks on my BT here. Hopefully I can not get destroyed and dove in the team fights, but they have a lot of dive potential on their team here. And a lot of lockdown as well. So I don't have any summoners, which is pretty scary for me here. Gonna go ahead and just get some more stacks from the Wraith camp here. Four easy stacks for me. And next objective, probably Dragon for our team, but we have to have a lot better positioning. We've been pretty lackluster when it comes to positioning in team fights for us here. Lee Sin is off to the side, need to be a little careful, but I really is in the top lane, so we actually have the man advantage here. Cannot get a lockdown onto anyone with the death sentence, a little unfortunate. Kale's being really greedy with her positioning here, so maybe we can pick up 
a scrap kill from her here. Oh, coming out of the enemy of Elkaz, forcing flash out of our Elkaz, however. Don't know if the flash was necessarily needed. Hitting my Q onto the enemy Jinx here, getting nice damage down onto her. Here comes the initiate from our team, throwing down my ultimate, locking down the Kale. Does not transfer to anyone, unfortunately. Sniping the enemy Velkaz with my piercing arrow. Fantastic fight out of the team here. Oh, live, friend. Okay, so Irelia is behind us, but sh I don't think she's going to be able to get much out of it. Charging up my Q. Maybe going to be able to hit Jinx. Actually picking up the shutdown kill. Call me Legolas. That was a snipe out of me. I didn't even expect that to kill her there. That was just the tip, baby. So we should pick up two towers here, uncontested, and then we should be able to rotate the dragon as well. Irelia is off in the wings here, so hopefully no one dies to her, but we could just go right on her and probably kill her here. We do have this warded very nicely done out of the team. No, just get dragon. This is greedy. This is greedy. Just take the safer play. Dragon's way more worth than one kill on Irelia. So excellent team fight out of the team there. I think that was a four for one exchange overall, so definitely a worth for us here. Picking up the dragon, and I'm going back with a bunch of gold onto me here. 2.3k here. And we have Baron Warded, luckily enough, so we do know that they aren't trying to rush it. And I'm going PD because we actually have great wave clear on the team here, so I don't really need to opt for any... Um, actually, I'm going to buy the Longsword, yep. Yeah. Don't need to opt for the Static Shiv, just because mainly that is a wave clear item to me, in a sense, so... 13 to 12 is the score. 224 is my score. Finally got some kills onto me here. And now I'm pretty big with my Phantom Dancer completed as well as some components of Last Whisper here. So hopefully I can just get in teamfights, lock down the necessary targets here, and blow them up here. Jinx is in the bot lane. And finally we have some map control here. It was awesome that we were able to take out two towers because now we have a lot more jungle control against the enemy team here. And potentially we can increase our reward coverage here and get some good sight on the enemy team. So for now we're sending for mid, just kind of wasting time. And I'm just going to go ahead and leash the race over here and do them really quick. Don't really want to waste time here. And that was kind of happening in the mid lane here with four people just doing nothing really. So GP is trying to answer Irelia in the top lane. So it could be a potential 4v4 in the mid lane here. Unfortunately, our Velkaz is a little chunked down here, so we can't really initiate too hard here. And I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, am I lagging? Put the war down. Oh, it's the bug that people were talking about. I thought it was up, but it's not up. So that's unfortunate here. going to go ahead and try and snipe down the Kale there. Nice damage coming out of my Q here. Hitting onto the Kale and Lee Sin as well. So we actually have decent health bars. We could potentially initiate here. I'm going to try and initiate with my ultimate here, actually. Nice ult out of the Hecarim here. Throwing down my ult, only hitting Lee Sin, however. Just going to try and pick him up really quick. Do get one. Going to try and get Kale with my Q here. I think she'll back off in the end, though. I'm... Ooh, I luckily flashed out of the Mega Death Rocket range there. I will survive. I can stick around with my Piercing Arrow just for a little bit, however. Hopefully I don't get bursted down here. I can maybe pick up a Snipe with it. A little greedy out of me, but... I do have a lot of range on the Q here, so we'll see if I can pick up anything with it. Gonna go ahead and just throw it down on the enemy Velkaz, doing some nice damage on him here. And we are pushing pretty heavily onto this T or inhibitor tower here. We will be able to pick it up. Unfortunately, I didn't get any lifesteal off the minion wave. And they're all spawned. This is this is risky. We should just leave. This is risky. Yep, we're they're gonna die here, and it was just a risky play. Maybe take the lantern. Oh, he flashes the wall. Hopefully he's okay. Don't go back in at all. Don't go back in. We just need to back. Or else we're going to get absolutely decimated here. Luckily, we all escape. Hopefully... Oh, the lockdown. Can I get a snipe, maybe? Oh, God. I didn't hit it. That was bad. That could have been an easy snipe for me. So we ended up losing just one, luckily. And it wasn't anymore, because that was really greedy going for that inhib there. They were all up, and some of them had home guards on them, so... Luckily for me, there's a big wave waiting for me to be cleared in the bot lane here. Hopefully this can get me enough money to pick up a Last Whisper here. So I'm going to go ahead and E and Q, just clear the wave out really quick here. And going to go ahead and level up, put another point into my E here, clear out this last wave, and I should have enough money for Last Whisper. Excellent. Oh, I lied. It's 1940. Calculations OP. Luckily there's these two creep left over, and that will put me 
just enough to get it. I'll wait a little bit. Not too much time to wait for that third 20 gold here. So for now, I just wait in the base here. And Baron, I don't think they're doing Baron. They could be doing Baron, however. Our wards just died on it, but there's two tops, so did not do it in the end here. So I have last... Oh, they did already get Baron. Whatever. I'd say that's worth still. So we have in-hit pressure, but they have Baron, so it's a little risky for us to actually try and push 5v5 onto them, because if they get a good engage, again, they do have those extra stats from Baron here. So for now, we should actually opt to take the top tower, I think is the right call, because it's so far away from their base that we can easily engage on them here, and it's actually risky for them to defend it, because it is, again, kind of in the middle of nowhere. So this is the correct call here. You never want to force a fight deep in the enemy base when they have Baron. But if you have outer turrets as well as inner turrets available to you, you, you can definitely still s safely push those if you feel you are ahead. And I still think our team is actually stronger than theirs, but definitely want to just take the free objectives here. They are grouping mid, however, so we need to go defend this. Their Jinx is just going to demolish towers if they do try and base race with us here. So we're probably going to lose this one tower. Excellent rotation out of them, but they don't have Irelia with them here. So if we get a pick kill onto someone here, maybe like Kale, we could potentially... Oh, nice. GPL actually thwarted the Jinx's effort there to pick up our mid T2. So excellent all out of GP there. And we don't lose any objectives for it and pick up a top tower of our own. So very nicely done. And for now, we're just going to go ahead and possibly shove mid now because Irelia is top. Since we do have the advantage, we can maybe get a catch on Velkaz here. I don't know how that missed him. Maybe, maybe catch him. And, oh, the hook does land on the Lee Sin, however, forcing a flash out of him. Very nicely done. That damage, though. I need to lifesteal back up. And Irelia is coming in from the back. This could be potentially dangerous for our team here. Gonna try and blow down the Kale, but she alts herself. That Jinx just raped us. We got 5 for 0 Ace. That was... A fantastic, fantastic all out of Jinx there. Just we got flanked from all positioning. That was kind of greedy for us. We probably should have played it safer. And we are gonna lose a lot out of this. Probably an inhib, maybe two here, but they definitely can't end the game. But that was we got out positioned super hard there. And I didn't have flash so Varus with no flash is easily diveable. And I kinda just ate everything there. That Velkaz supported so much damage with just Landry's. That was ridiculous here. So hopefully we can get a fight now, actually. They did overextend a little bit here. They should have just got the inhib and back. Maybe we can pick up a kill. One on to Kale here. Potentially a second. We need to get on Jinx. She's kind of destroying me. Gonna go ahead and charge up my piercing arrow and miss her in the end. She's gonna flash over the wall. She's gone. So good job to her getting out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and go bot. Try and lifesteal up off this creep wave that's at our T2 tower. Try and save it. Maybe pick up a kill on a Jinx. How low is she? I think she got a speed stroke. Oh, I'm dead. Damn. Yep. I saw it coming. No way I could dodge it. And unfortunately, she gets a great answer kill on me here. I don't know if the Q hit her or if it would have killed her, but she did get the get excited from the tower kill, and I think that gave her enough mobility to actually dodge out on my Q. I didn't see it. It was off screen here, so a little unfortunate. And now this is just, this is greedy. We're, well, why are we here? They don't have any damage there, really, and they still have Baron. That was just 100% greed out of our team here. Gonna go ahead and pick up a chain vest component of GA. And I definitely need this, because their Kale doesn't do too much damage, but they have a ton of AD that's just diving into me with the Jinx as well as the Lee Sin and Irelia. You could say they do a lot of damage though with the Belkos support, who's building pretty much straight damage, so... I don't know, I like Jade, it's a mixed defensive item, but for now I want the Chain Vest first, because I do think they're doing a little bit more AD damage than AP at this point. So for now, our team, we pretty much just have to wave clear and try and save other inhibitor towers. And I think if we can get a pretty good team fight off here, once they don't have Baron, we could still win easily. If we do get a good combo of Hecarim and Develkaz and Varisalt. So we have a lot of good lockdown, but our team fights are pretty sloppy, pretty out of position, and their Jinx is just massive. Jinx is massive still. A lot of kills onto that Jinx, and she is just a scary beast. But luckily, I've been able to keep up my farm decently well this game. 
So that's what's kind of keeping our team in the game here. Kale actually initiating onto me here. I'm probably going to die. Going to flash out. And she's going to flash after me. And I think she had it warded. So she got the edge on me there. And I just got caught out. Kale, no flash. And yep, she does some decent damage onto her here too. So that's unfortunate. We need to ward up our jungle and get a good fight in our base. So hopefully we can get some decent wards going down here, down that GP build. Atma is bringing it back, man. He's bringing back an old school build. Oh man, our Hecarim's pretty weak too. Little farm onto him. Hopefully we pick up a return kill on a Kale here. Kill her, you have to, okay. Luckily that's our killer, my goodness. Yo, this is, don't chase, don't chase. Oh, nice Crucible out of the Jinx here. Oh, she sniped him with an ultimate. That's unfortunate. So, heck, I'm going in on a Jinx here. I'm going to go ahead and try and throw down my Q. Not going to be enough damage for me here. And I really, it does get onto me here. Throwing down my E, trying to slow her down here. Going to go ahead and try and cut her out. I will get out, but that should be the game because we just overextended again. It's the story of this game. And I'm the only one up alive. And they're probably going to go mid and try and end here. So hopefully I can just clear the wave out a little. If they do get another inhib, we still are in it. But it's looking grim. We're making really poor decisions with team fights here. So going to go ahead and throw out the Q. I really had diving in onto me here. Getting the stun actually because she has more health than me. And I should be able to walk away hopefully. Oh, we get the lockdown on Elise Sin. Fantastic job from Thresh here. Dodging out on the resignating strike from the... Least in there, I forgot your name. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and actually back and pick up Home Guard Boots. I really need to get back in the team fight here. Really fast as well. There's Home Guard. Can we get kill on a Jinx? We should. There's the lockdown, the shutdown, and our inhibs are back up, so we could potentially get an answer inhib of our own here. This could be the potential comeback that I was talking about here. Kale is in the bot lane, and we need to go 5 mid right now and pick up an inhib, try and get some map pressure for our team here. Screw her, don't chase her, just get this baby. Ah, we wasted GP out there. There's no way that was going to kill him here. We still needed that for the up and coming team fights, probably. And you can back and maybe clear the wave if Kale tries to keep pushing. But we need to get this in him. Vel B for Kale. Why is our Thresh going? We need the in team. This is our only possible time to get this in here. Alright, so we do get this inhib. Hopefully she doesn't get the whole tower, but it's Kale with Lich Bane. Probably gonna happen. Oh, Velka is able to thwart her off that tower, luckily enough. So we do get the inhib. Don't lose any inhibs of our own. That's big for our team. We now have some good map pressure on us here, and we didn't lose anything out of it. So very, very nicely done. Gonna go ahead and try and pull out the dragon here, but it's already dead. Kale ulting herself. She's actually walking straight into our team here, so she will... Hopefully go down. Nice lockdown from the Thresh. Saving my life probably there. And gonna go ahead and just pick up blue buff here. Don't know who wants it. I take it in the end. She actually had double buffs I think. So I don't know if I needed to take that. But I ended up taking it anyways. So still a few hundred gold off of GA here. Which is risky. I really is trying to do some backdoor fancy stuff here. Hopefully we don't let her take any inhibs for free here. Did see her in a ward in her own jungle luckily enough. I think that was my word, actually, maybe. I'll take credit for it. But she actually ends up going back and shoving the wave out. Baron's up. We have no words on it. A little scary position to be in. I'm not going to even go in the jungle for getting risk of getting caught out here. Why are we using GPL to clear the wave? We need GPL for fight. We need that all for fights. We had supers pushing in it anyways. I'm not sure why we did it. But they could be two manning Baron right now. We need a ward on it. 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 Jinx destroys Baron. And they're doing it. And there's the smite. And that's what I was afraid of. We waited so long just to get a ward down on Baron. Actually hitting my ult onto the Jinx here. Could be big for us. Trying to snipe down the Lee Sin. He ends up living. Going onto the Kale here. Forcing the ult out of her. Unfortunately she is still alive. I pick up a kill on... Wow I didn't barrier in time. Damn. Why did we wait so long to ward? It was so obvious they were doing it, which is a damn disappointment. But our creep are ending the base. Stall their back. Oh man, our creep. 
Winions! They're gonna take like three inhibs off of this, but our Winions might end the game if they don't stop them. Get one tower. One tower. Get a 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 tower. No! Damn. Damn, that was so close. Picking up GA. Jinx gets one inhib. If she goes for two, very, very greedy out of her. We actually have members up, and we can easily catch on to this Jinx here. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Find her, find her, find her, find her, find her, find her, find her. Find her, find her, find her, find her, find her, find her. Go find her. Don't let her back. She might be right there. Go find her. Do something. Find her. Oh my god, we could have easily found her and tracked her down there. <laughs> Too late. She's already gone. She's long gone. So I actually have equal items to this Jinx here, but she's just... They have a lot better team fights than us, and she's untouched in these team fights here. That's why she's pulling so far ahead. And for now, just gotta answer our super creep with their super creep. Lee Sin is in the top lane, but they are barren up, so pretty risky for us here. Jinx is actually bottom. So, again, this is kind of the same position where we were earlier. We risk getting flanked from the enemy team. We have zero awards to our sides here. So, pretty risky. And we should just back. I don't want to be here. Yeah, this is just... I don't want to recreate the situation that happened earlier for us here. Hopefully, we can back out in time here. Don't engage. Don't engage. Don't engage. And there's the engage out of Irelia. Hopefully, we can blow her up here. Throwing down my ult, trying to get some lockdown on them, but we're already getting decimated in these team fights here. That will be the game. GG. Unfortunate for us, we did not get anything out of it, and that's the game. So 666, actually my score here. That's kind of ironic, but uh, just pretty sloppy rotations from our team here, actually. We gave up a lot of free kills from overextending. And could have been played a lot better. But if you like the video, go ahead and throw it a like. I'll have all my other social media such as Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. As well as Runes to Masteries in the info box down below for you guys. And as always, I will see you all next time.